all day long. A tremendous legal battle has been brewing in the celebrated case of Thornton versus his beard. 23 hours ago, on Facebook, Thornton raised the issue of shaving his beard, calling for a referendum of his friends. He pledged to abide by the vote of the people. Seven hours ago, Thornton released this statement on Facebook. Well, the results of the vote to impeach and ultimately expel my beard from my countenance are in. Sadly, in this vote, there were several hanging Chad type ballots with ambiguous answers to my simple shave or not shave question. We ignored all of these, even ones whose meaning might be logically inferred, such as, well, it's going to be a long, hot summer. The eyes have it 16 to 10 and so my beard will be removed from its position on my face later this morning. Then, a scant hour later, Thornton released a second statement. Breaking news. The fate of my beard is still up in the air. I said I would abide by the popular vote, but Nancy has expressed some misgivings about its removal. She is the equivalent of SCOTUS on all things involving me and may be inclined to overrule the Facebook plebiscite. We now go to the Hall of Facial Hair Justice in Ocean City, New Jersey, where Judge Nancy is about to rule. There is a palpable tension in the courtroom. Ace reporter Magic Rollins is standing by as the minutes count down to Judge Nancy's noon ruling. Rollins races into the judge's chambers. All rise as the judge begins to speak. Opening my decision. Shave. Goodbye, Beard. As Thornton went off to shave his beard, he issued a final statement. I always believe in and will adhere to the rule of law. I hope all Americans agree with me on that. No beard or man is above the law. Hey, Nancy, yeah. what do you think? Oh, I kind of like the beard.